everyone, this is Dawn Prickett with TwiceYourCheap.com and I'm here with another Technique Thursdays. Today I'm going to teach you how to repair an error in your knitting several rows down without having to frog your work or, how to, or without having to unravel several rows of knitting. Now on my little swatch here, I've got a um, cable cross where I did a right front cable cross and it goes from left to the right. You can see up here the cable goes the opposite direction. Oops, that's a mistake. I want them both to be going the same direction. So we're going to repair this without unraveling my swatch. Now my swatch is only about 20 stitches. It wouldn't be that big of a deal to unravel two rows of knitting and fix that. But if you're doing a, a full-size sweater or a shawl or something much larger, each row could be several hundred um, stitches and it would be a big deal to unravel two rows of knitting and potentially cause more mistakes. So I'm going to teach you how to fix this without having to unravel everything. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to knit up to where your mistake is. You can see my cable is these four stitches. So I've knit right up to where those cables are and I'm going to slowly unravel those two rows just of those four stitches. Not everything else. I'm going to drop those stitches down and then re-knit them back up. The first thing you need to do is figure out, I want to show you how knitting um, how knitting works. So this is your working yarn and I use this um, to wrap stitches and to form new stitches. And as it goes from one stitch to the next stitch, you can see it moves across in between them. I call that the running thread. And that forms a ladder in between stitches all the way across the work on every single row. You can see right here I've got these two running stitches are the two rows leading down to where my cable mistake was. We're going to use those as guidelines and we're going to use those as our working yarn to repair those two rows. We're going to set aside our working yarn for now and we're not going to use that until we get back up to ground zero, back up to the row that we're at. Now you can drop those four stitches off your needle and just let them unravel if you feel comfortable doing that. If that makes you nervous, we're going to go ahead and unknit these two rows, these four stitches in those two rows, very carefully one stitch at a time. So just insert your needle into the stitch in the row below and drop that off. And you can pull on that running thread and that will unravel that row. But because you're putting the stitches on the needle, they are not dropping down below. Slide them back to your left needle and you can unravel them the next row down. Since this is a cable, sometimes it's a little difficult to see where those stitches are. But if you make a mistake, you can always repair it because that's what I'm teaching you how to do is how to repair it. Okay, I've got two rows down now. How do I know that I have two rows? I have two rows because I have two running threads right here. See, I have one and two. This is the running thread that was used to knit those four stitches all the way across. And we're going to use this as our working yarn as we knit those rows back up. Now I've got my cable, my cable is crossed to the left. I want it to be to the right, so I'm going to go ahead and let those off the needle and let them relax back into their natural order. And put them back on, on the needles. Be sure that you're getting them the oriented the correct way with the running thread or the with the in the front. So that one was twisted. You see how when it lays flat, the leading edge is in the front of the needle. We're going to slide them back over to our left needle and we're now prepped and ready to knit this row. But we're not going to use our working yarn, we're going to use this running thread right here. We're going to find the one on the bottom. That is the one for the row that we're doing. So we need the one in the bottom and we're going to hold it in our left hand just like we would knitting. If you are a thrower and you need to hold this in your right hand, you need to wrap it 
but you still need to go from this side to this side. So you need to be a little bit more careful if you're a thrower when doing this method. So we're going to grab that yarn and I'm going to knit across this row the same way that I showed you the other day to do a cable without a cable needle. So if you need to know how to do that, go back to our Technique Thursday two weeks ago and I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to work those two stitches and notice this has gotten shorter because I've used up that amount of yarn. Do the front two stitches and I'm almost out of yarn, just enough for that last stitch and pull it through. Move those back to your left needle. We've got our cable crossed the correct direction. We're going to grab our running thread for the next row. And now this row had been a purl row, but because we have our knitting side facing us, we're going to go ahead and knit that because on the front side it's a knit row. So we're going to knit across. Now remember I told you that if you are a thrower you can do this too, but you have to be a little bit more careful. So if you're going to throw, you can throw it across, but then you need to let go and grab it and do it again. You can't just hold on to it or you'll end up with your stitches being knit out of order. Oops, I missed that guy. I'm not a thrower. I'm going to knit this guy. Okay. Now we're going to move them back to our left needle and snug them up so that you're taking up the slack of those stitches and everything is even again. Now we're back up to ground zero. We can pick up our normal working yarn and knit across those four stitches just like normal. And you can see our cable has been repaired and they're both going in the same direction now.